Uh, hello guys, welcome to the channel. So, in the today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up the ASUS CG workflow. So, before we go to that, we will first discuss about why we use the ASUS CG. So, in this color gamut graph, all the color space are here except the ASUS CG. So, you can already see that how much a particular color space covers the colors. So, first of all, the sRGB. The sRGB and the Rex MRI, both are almost same. They both cover almost the same colors. Whether it comes DCI-P3, then Adobe RGB. And if we now go to the ASUS CD, you can clearly see the difference between the sRGB and the ASUS CD color space. How much colors it uh, gives to us. The ASUS CD. The sRGB covers only this much video, right here. So this is why SSCG is best. Even the industry uses it. Okay, so now we can set up our SSCG workflow. So if I go to this footage, then you can see all the colors are fine right now here. But right now we are in the sRGB. And if I merge this CG with our plate, and now you will be able to see that CG colors are not correct. Because actually I have rendered this in the SSCG color space. So, to have the right colors here, you will have to set up the ASUS CG. So, just to go to the project settings, go to these colors. It is color management. You can select OCIO. In this OCIO config, by default, it's a new default. So, you can select ASUS 1.1 or you can select ASUS 1.2. If you are using Nuke 14 or 15, then by default you will get ASUS 1.2. But if you are using Nuke 12.2 or any of the older versions, then you will have to load by selecting custom option. You can browse and load your ASUS config from here. I will also show you how you can get this ASUS CG profiles. So it's here on the GitHub. I will share this link to you in the description. Right here, ASUS 1.2, if you go inside that, here it is, you can download the entire code. So now if we take a look here, and error is appearing, it is because of, we have set our working space in ASUS CG, and the plate is in Gamma 2.2. Select color picking output sRGB. Now if you see, it looks fine. If you see our CG as well, we can see the colors are looking great. Even it has a wide range of colors now and a good amount of color saturation you see. So I will also show you the final output of this shot. Here it is. You can see already how fine color it gives to us with the staging which SRGB is not capable of. So yes. Only this much to cover in this video. Thank you for watching this far. See you in the next one.